Sushi and you are watching the channel Atushi's Edulo English for All. Do you want to make your language colorful and lively? Do you want to sound like a native speaker? So here is an amazing video for all the viewers on idioms. Idioms are an integral part of any language. They help us to describe a situation in a creative way. Idioms have two different meanings, a literal meaning which means the real meaning and figurative meaning which means the hidden meaning. These hidden meanings help us to make the language sound spicier and richer. So in this sweltering heat, let us all spice up our language with some idioms on summer. But yes, do watch the video till the end because I have an added vocabulary tip at the end of the video. A place in the sun. No, no, we are not going to the sun. It means a position of advantage. The new manager worked extremely well and deserves a place in the sun. Come rain or shine, whatever the weather be. Come rain or shine, I'll meet you on Sunday. Mid some madness. A foolish or reckless behavior which seems to escalate at the height of summer. His plan to become a beach comber is a midsummer madness. Now, what is a beach comber? A beach comber is a person who decides to walk along the beach looking for interesting and valuable items. Once day in the sun. The time when a person achieves the highest level of success. She worked so well that she deserves her day in the sun. One swallow does not make a summer. One good or lucky event should not be always considered as an indication that what follows will always be good. The sales in summer has gone up. However, one swallow does not make a summer. We have to work hard the next month. Ray of sunshine. Someone or something which brings happiness in the lives of others. Prayers and blessings are the ray of sunshine for someone who is in difficult situation. Make hay when the sun shines. To make the most of an opportunity. You have got a week's time for your examination. So, make hay when the sun shines. To take a shine to. To develop a liking for. He seems to have taken a shine to you. Dog days of summer. Those extreme days of summer when it is difficult to work outside. We should drink a lot of water during the dog days of summer. Soak up some sun to get sun tanned. I like to lie on the beach and soak up some sun. Now it's time for the vocabulary tip. If you want to talk about the heat outside, then you can use phrases like It's muggy outside. It's a scorcher outside. It's blazing hot outside. It's sweltering outside. So we have used words like muggy, scorcher, blazing hot and sweltering to talk about the heat. Or we can use phrases like it's hot as hell. It's the three H's outside. Now three H in a summer means heat cramps, heat exhaustion and heat stroke. So to talk about the intense heat, we can use the phrase it's the three H outside or it's like an oven outside. So these are some phrases which we can use to talk about the heat in a summer season. I hope you found this video quite informative. This will not only help to make your language richer, but help you sound smarter also. 
So stay connected for other updates, for other videos. Till then, take care. Bye bye. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, then press the like button and share with your friends and family members. And don't forget to subscribe my channel by pressing the bell icon to get the latest updates.